was violent. In tactical gear, head to toe. He had index cards. He was in, he was out. If you ever want to talk, I'll be here for you. It's really a two-handed story where you're following the path of a man that has gone through a real tragedy and he's trying to set things right from what happened to him. But then the hunter, as he's tracking the man that caused all these issues with the family and murdering his friend at this bank, he becomes hunted. And that was what was so gripping about the story for me. Are you okay? I should have done something. If you had done something, you wouldn't be here right now. We're hoping you can help us here, Mr. Tasker. This guy knew your facility inside out. The exact location of that locker. Frank and, uh, well, I know Bruce was already attached, and then I had a great opportunity that uh, the producers, uh, Emmett Furla, brought in Olivia Culpo. And I mean, I was extremely impressed with how much work she had done, how much preparation she knew, uh, and that you'll see in this film, all the business, all the ins and outs from, you know, doing the, the finger testing, the blood testing, Every day she brings more and more to the table, and it was quite impressive. And then the rest of the cast, Jonathan Shack and uh, uh, Chris Bowen, of course, Natalie Yoro, everybody, uh, Uncle Murda who came in, we just started building out a, a very large ensemble, and it just, it, it really added flavor to the film. This guy's following an armored car. Stay armed. Open the door! The screenwriter, uh, Bryce, was really tremendous. And uh, uh, when we looked at the original draft, we were going to be moving the location from Pittsburgh to where we're filming now uh, in Cincinnati, Ohio. So uh, we had a good collaboration with them to talk about certain elements that we needed to change specific to the location primarily. Who was this? I remember you from the bank. You called the police, and your wife and daughter will suffer before they die. Go back and watch it a second time. Because when you do it, you see it that second time, you're going to see things that I put in a lot of red herrings. There's a lot of pieces in every frame of this film. There is something going on that's connective tissue. And when you see it the second time, I never saw that before. You'll see these little pieces, these little red herrings. Every one of those was meant to be there for a reason. Some people are going to pick up on it. Some people aren't. But when you look at it the second time or the third time through, you'll say... I'm glad I did. You can just give me a gun. I just gave you 20. 